Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Sacramento Regional STEM Fair Awards Ceremony. My name is Nadia Compton, and I am the director of the NorCal STEM Education Foundation and this wonderful event. We've seen so many fantastic projects, albeit virtually, <laughs> over the last week. It's because of your efforts as students, parents, teachers, and STEM professionals that this important event exists. I would like to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors, especially the professional engineers in California government and the California Association of Professional Scientists, among others. We are truly blessed as an organization to have so much community involvement and so many industry and community partners. This year, we saw so many students step up and bear with this new format and think of and run experiments that could be managed during the isolation brought on during the COVID-19 pandemic and stay at home orders. Thank you all for your efforts and for rising to the challenge of this virtual format. We're lucky to live in a time where we can continue to hold our event amid a global pandemic and can still be together so far apart. Here's a small tip of the hat to the technology professionals who have enabled the world to keep turning despite these necessary barriers to keep us all safe. Maybe some of you will invent the next thing to keep us all healthier and happier in the face of adversity. Now, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Bianca Petzold, who will assist with our award announcing this morning. Thank you, Nadia. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here to help award all your hard work. We're going to begin our ceremony by announcing these special awards. These awards will be mailed or emailed to you dependent upon the special award organization's preference. Congratulations in advance to all our hardworking winners. First up, we have the American Psychological Association Award presented to Meghna Sarawat for Excellence in Psychological Science. And next, there is the ASM Materials Education Foundation Award presented to Clara Kerr, congratulations. <laughs> Moving on, the Association of Women Geoscientists awards, go, or excuse me, award goes to Zia Cot for her project that exemplifies a high standard of innovativeness and scientific excellences in the geosciences. Thanks, Bianca. Our next special award comes from the California Association of Professional Scientists. It's their Science Achievement Award. The award goes to Kaya Davis. <laughs> Up next are the Genius Olympiad Awards. These awards go to two separate uh, projects, uh, Jacqueline Prawira and Rishava Abam Fenikar. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving on, we've got the NASA Earth System Science Award. Zachary Summers, great job. <laughs> Next, we've got the NOAA Taking the Pulse of the Planet Award. This one goes to Jacqueline Prawira. Now, we've got the Professional Engineers in California Government Excellence in Engineering Award. The award goes to Jordan Prawira. Next up, we've got the Explore Award. 
for the most creative project in the middle school division. The award goes to Macy Hatashita. Congratulations, Macy. Next is the RICO Sustainable Development Award, which goes to Rishaba Abhavanekar for outstanding efforts in addressing issues of environmental responsibility and sustainable development. Now, the Society for In Vitro Biology presents the Certificate of Outstanding Achievement for Ability and Creativity in In Vitro Biology. The winner is Abigail Sturman. The next award is the Community Innovation Award from the Society for Science. And this award goes to Jacqueline Pereira. Congratulations. My unmute button wouldn't come back to me. Up next is the Stockholm Junior Water Prize. And if you were looking closely, you might have already seen that it goes to Divya Mata. And the second Stockholm Junior Water Prize goes to Emily Yang. Congratulations. <laughs> the US Air Force Award. Well, <laughs> uh, goes to Abigail Sturman. <laughs> Congratulations, Abigail. <laughs> Next, the US Agency for International Development awards Zia Ciotti. <laughs> Then the U.S. Metric Association awards Zachary Summers for the best use of the SI in International System of Units. <laughs> Finally, the Yale Science and Engineering Association gives their award to Som Desai. Congratulations to all our special awards winners this morning. Now, we'll take a brief break to hear from our sponsors. Up first, we have a presentation from David Miller from the California Association of Professional Scientists. Um. Thank all of you here virtually today for participating in such a wonderful event. Students, your efforts to create projects that still function virtually have not gone unnoticed. All your hard work has probably been tripled this year as a direct result of the pandemic we find ourselves in the midst of. And yet, your work was still so amazing. Parents, I must commend you for working remotely with kids at home and especially kids that are as bright and inquisitive as all yours. Teachers, thank you for your efforts teaching remotely. You are superheroes in my mind. I am a member of the CAPS Board of Directors and have always been an advocate for continuing outreach in STEM education. The California Association of Professional Scientists, or CAPS as we call it, is the exclusive representative of nearly 4,000 scientists working for the state of California. Many of our members were your judges this year. California state scientists ensure that your air, water, food, and environment are protected and safe. Our public relations committee supports all of you through its sponsorship of this STEM fair and hope that all of you will continue on your path. 
pathway to STEM. Science and the scientific process in our lives is a very important way to research and discover new ways to solve problems. And I am simply encouraged and amazed at the work that you all have continued to do amidst this pandemic. You are the next generation of scientists. I can't wait to see the wonderful scientific discoveries you all make in the future. Congratulations to each and every one of the students, parents, and teachers who participated in this year's virtual fair. I hope we get to see you all in person in 2021. Thank you, David. Up next, we have Matt Hansen from the Professional Engineers in California Government. My name is Matt Hansen. I am a board member for the Northern California STEM Education Foundation. Um, I'm the vice president of collective bargaining for the Professional Engineers in California Government. And I work for Caltrans as a transportation engineer and manage research part projects for Caltrans Division of Research. I want to start by congratulating everyone on all their hard work and a job well done. First, thank you students for your persistence and completing your experiments. Thank you parents and teachers for your support so your children and students had the space to be successful. Thank you judges for volunteering your time and accommodating all the new ways of doing things this year. Thank you sponsors for all your financial support. We really wanted to have a fair this year, especially since the 2020 fair was canceled and we needed to keep everyone safe because of the pandemic. So we ended up doing an online or virtual fair. That meant redesigning most parts of the fair from scratch. And that made it a lot more work for everyone, especially fair staff. What was in the past, a two day event took place over more than a week and when you add in the award ceremony, it was almost two weeks. So I wanna say a really big thank you to the fair, fair staff. While there are many folks that work on the fair, it is primarily Nadia, Bianca, and Adam who made it happen, especially over these last two weeks. I'm sure we have future PEG members among the students participating at this year's fair. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to meet, uh, I didn't get a chance to meet at least some of you in person. PECG, or PEG stands for Professional Engineers in California Government. We mostly use the acronym PEG because we are engineers and we turn everything into an acronym. And because PEG is a lot easier to say than Professional Engineers in California Government. We represent over 13,000 engineers and related professionals that work for the state of California. We were founded in 1962 and have been supporting the NorCal STEM Education Foundation and FAIR since it was founded in 2001. We are proud to be part of the Science and Engineering FAIR and to have supported it for the last 17 years, like our scientist colleagues and many others. PEG members are responsible for designing and inspecting California's infrastructure like dams and highways, improving air, qual air and water quality, and developing clean energy and green energy. Some of your judges are PEG members for, as well. I look forward to seeing many of you participate and compete again next year. I'm hopeful that it will be in person in 2022. And I'm, and I'm excited for those of you moving on to higher education. From my own experience, there are two important characteristics, persistence, which some call grit, and passion. Both are important to make your education and dreams come true. And while you are studying, you will master mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, etc. But I want to stress that communications is one of the most important skill sets that you need to master and that we, you will need to use it every day. So go out in the world and pursue your goals with energy and excitement. Remember, you are the future. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Finally, here's a word from the director of the Society for Science, who organizes and hosts the International Science and Engineering Fair, ICEF, each year, Maya Ajmera. Hello, 
Hello, I am Maya Oshmira, President and CEO of the Society for Science and publisher of Science News. Congratulations on participating in your local science fair. The Society founded the International Science and Engineering Fair in 1950. Today, the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair is the largest pre-collegiate STEM competition in the world. We are proud to have built this fair over 70 years. When we began the National Science Fair, which is what the event was once called, included only a handful of fairs. Today, we have over 400 fairs that participate from 80 countries, regions, and territories. When I was in high school, I competed in science fairs and it changed my life. And I know it will do the same for you. I'm so proud of each and every young person who's competing today. You are poised to solve our world's most intractable problems. I wish everyone the best of luck. You are an inspiration to your community and the world. All right. To echo her statements, congratulations to all of you who competed this year. Now, Let's move on to the category awards. Bianca, please kick us off. Thank you, Nadia. We'll begin the awards with the applied engineering category. First, we will award middle school. In fourth place, we have Providence Blue. Third place goes to Benjamin Arseneth from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Second place are Alina and Adil Faruqi from Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School. Finally, first place for middle school division in applied engineering awards goes to Clara Kerr from Lammersville Elementary School. Congratulations. Now for the high school award in the applied engineering category, there is only a first place winner. The first place award in the applied engineering category goes to Jordan Pereira from Mountain House High School. Congratulations. Up next, we have the Behavioral and Social Sciences category. First, the Middle School Honorable Mentions. Congratulations to Autumn Myers for her project and Frances Jones for hers from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. In fifth place, we have Zarek James Kresman from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Congratulations. In fourth place, there's Jack Addison from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. <laughs> Third place goes to Sienna Aburto Rona from Natomas Middle School. <laughs> Second place is Morgan Boym from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Great job. Now, the first place middle school behavioral and social sciences award goes to Luca Burgo. Congratulations, Luca. <laughs> On to our high school awardees for this category. In third place, 
for the High School Behavioral and Social Sciences Award goes to Alicia and Ashlyn Royce from Mountain House High School. In second place for this category, we have Magna Sarawat from Vista Del Lago High School. In first place for high school behavioral and social sciences, we have Vishruth Nagam. Congratulations, Vishruth. Our next category is biology and health sciences. First, the middle school honorable mentions. Congratulations to Camila Smith from Evie Kane Charter Middle School and Heidi and Arnold Spenzel from John Adams Academy. In fifth place, we have Lana Terrell from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Congratulations. In fourth place, there's Samuel Machini from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Third place goes to Aaron Young from Bridgeway Island Elementary School. And for second place, we have from Evie Kane Charter Middle School, Kaya Davis. Now, the first place middle school division biology and health sciences award goes to Samuel Robinson from E.V. Kane Charter Middle School. <laughs> On to our high school awardees for this category. We have an honorable mention in high school biology and health sciences that goes to Divya Mata from Mountain House High School. Third place in biology and health sciences goes to Vishnu Mata and Ayush Seth from Mountain House High School. Second place in biology and health sciences goes to Upor Mishra, Ahmed Sakil, and Nathan Solomon from Davis Senior High School and John C. Kimball High School. Great job. Finally, our first place in high school biology and health sciences. We have Isha Mafuz of Vista Del Lago High School. On to the Computer Software and Technology Awards. We're gonna start with second place for the middle school division. And that goes to Daniel Robertson from Evie Kane Charter Middle School. Now, the first place middle school computer software and technology award goes to Tassin Rahman from Folsom Educational Academy. On to our high school awards. Up first, our honorable mention goes to Evan Lee from Davis Senior High School. Our third place award in the high school division goes to Joshua Zhu and Jason Guo from Davis Senior High School. Second place in this category goes to Sriniti Chandra 
Shakarn of Granite Bay High School. Last but definitely not least, first place in the. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to have to switch. <laughs> switch my screen here. Uh, it was, you know, there was too many winners. They wouldn't fit uh, to be shared. <laughs> there were so many of you. Uh, okay, just, just consider this as the drum roll while we're. <laughs> well, uh oh. I can't get out of it. I can't get into it. A very long and extended drum roll. Yeah. Um, hmm. well, well, I can see it, but none of you can. And I can't escape this. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on here. It worked just fine this morning. Um, I can't even get out of this. Seriously? Okay, now escape it. There we go. Sorry for our technical difficulties here, R being mine. <laughs> Uh, and here we go. Now we're back. <laughs> all right. There were just too many winners and they just wouldn't all fit on one. So we had to make two. Uh, all right. So we are on our first place in this category goes to Som Desai of John C. Kimball High School. Great job, Som. And now we've come to the awards in the chemistry category. So we have third place in middle school goes to Abraham Vogt from E.V. Kane Charter Middle School. Congratulations. Second place is Jenna Isha from Folsom Educational Academy. Now, the first place middle school chemistry category award goes to Suhair Hassan from Folsom Educational Academy. So on to our high school winners. The second place winners in the high school chemistry category are Ian Webster, Cole Johnson, and John Enders from Oak Ridge High School. And we have first place in the high school chemistry category is Pravani Khanna from Miraloma High School. All right, on to physical sciences and math. In fourth place, we have Macy Hatashita from Evie King Charter Middle School. Third place goes to Violet Peak, also from EVK and Charter Middle School. Second place is Zia Ciotti from EVK and Charter Middle School. Now, the first place award in the middle school division goes to Ayub Salem from Folsom Educational Academy. There were no entries in this category from the high, from high school students this year. So on to sustainable technology, Bianca. 
Our final category award this morning is in the sustainable category, excuse me, sustainable technology category. So first we have fourth place. There's Ari Celio from E.B. Kane Charter Middle School. Great job. Third place goes to Ruby Rochelle Yoon from E.B. Kane Charter Middle School. For second place in sustainable technology, we have Zachary Summers from E.B. Kane Charter Middle School. And now the first place middle school sustainable technology award goes to Jihan Abuhantash from Folsom Educational Academy. Now for the high school awards in the sustainable tech category, honorable mention goes to Ethan Wu and Marco Wang at Consumnes Oaks High School. In third place, we have Anishka Venkatesh from Vista Del Lago High School. In second place, there is Rishaba Abavanaker, also from Vista Del Lago High School. Finally, in first place in the high school division category for sustainable technology, we have the winner as Jacqueline Parira. Great job. Congratulations to all our category award winners. To those of you who won first place at our fair this year, and for some of you who won second, congratulations you are eligible to move on to the California State Science and Engineering Fair. Log on to our website after the award ceremony to find a list of who is moving on. This year, the CSAF, California State Science and Engineering Fair, as they're called, requires you to register by Monday. So not tomorrow, but the next day, no matter what fair you're qualified through. So be sure to make sure that you're entered by Monday if you plan to move on to their virtual event. And to all first through third place middle school category award winners, I'd like to inform you that you have been invited to participate in the prestigious Broadcom Masters competition. Congratulations. We'll send you information about that in the coming week. Thank you, Bianca. Now, before we move on to announcing the grand awards winners, who will get to compete at ICEF this year from home. It's still going to be virtual. Uh, the CEO, President, and Chief Scientific Officer of Regeneron, which is ICEF's title sponsor, would like to say a few words. So uh, let's see. I'm going to go here and share this. I'm George Ancopoulos, Regeneron's co-founder, president, and chief scientific officer. When I co-founded Regeneron, along with my business partner, Len Schleifer, more than 30 years ago, we had a clear vision to build a company driven by science, a company where the scientists were the heroes. Every day at Regeneron, we translate science into medicine. We use our homegrown technologies to discover and deliver life-transforming medicines that help people and change their lives. At Regeneron, we want to help find and inspire the next generation of scientific innovators. That's why we sponsor both the Regeneron Science Talent Search and Regeneron ISEF in partnership with the Society for Science to help inspire, celebrate, and elevate young scientific superstars. All the students here today are poised to be the scientific heroes of tomorrow. You may have the potential to find solutions to the existential threats we face today and the major challenges we will be facing in the future. Congratulations 
to all of the student researchers here today, and also to their teachers, their mentors, and their parents who supported them throughout this challenging year. And a big thank you to the FAIR directors, organizers, and volunteer judges who have made it possible for students to have the opportunity to compete at Regeneron ISAC. Finally, the moment we have been waiting for. I am honored to introduce the Regeneron ISEF finalists who have won the right to compete for awards and distinction in the largest high school STEM competition in the world. Good luck to all the students who will be competing in the Regeneron ISEF. Now, for the moment that you have all been waiting for, who are those grand awards winners? So without some, without any further ado, let's get started. Our third place grand award winner who will be attending ISEF this year to compete is Isha Mifuz of Vista Del Lago High School. Congratulations, Isha, your project really wowed the judges. Sorry, the crowd was excited. <laughs> Up next, our second place grand prize winner, who will also be attending ISEF this year, is Jordan Pruera of Mountain House High School. Great job, Jordan. <laughs> Finally, our first place grand prize winner, also attending ISEF in May is, can I get a drum roll? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> Jacqueline Perwira of Mountain House High School. Amazing work, Jacqueline. All right, congratulations to all three students who will be moving on to ISEF this year. And congratulations to all our students for having amazing projects that literally, and I, I say this not figuratively, amazed the judges this year. We sincerely appreciate all the hard work you put forth as students, parents, teachers, and community members. It is thanks to all of you, to all of our staff, and to all of our board members, that the 2021 Sacramento Regional STEM Fair was a success. Please give yourselves a hand for all you do, though I can't hear any of you giving yourselves a hand. Uh, students and judges will be sent fair swag and any physical awards to the address on file and participation certificates and digital awards will be emailed. Um, Make sure you notify us if your address has changed since you last registered, because otherwise we will be sending things to your old address. <laughs> uh, congratulations, everyone. Truly, truly great work. And that concludes our award ceremony. It was so short. And no chances for me to like trip walking up the stage. <laughs> I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Congratulations to our winners. And that is that is all. I'm going to be uh, ending the the ceremony here shortly. Thank you all for your time.
All right, I'm going to just end the meeting for all now. So uh, thank you all for attending. Much appreciated. If you are going to ISF, I will be in contact on Monday. Uh, if you're going to the California State Science Fair, we will have that list uploaded later today. Uh, make sure that you register and sign up to uh, go to ISF if that's, or not ISF, uh, the California State Science Fair if that's your intention. <laughs> registration is cheaper this year. It's only $35, but it is still a virtual fair. So uh, congratulations, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.